Manchu is a staple in the community here. I think you're going to the corner store, but you're not. You're going basically to take out restaurant. That is incredible. Ah. Oh, number two, number two. What is this place? <laughs> I love it. People on top of each other. The whole community is in there. Have you lived with your place? Anyone in order? People come from all over the city. You can't describe it. Thank you. So John and you are cousins. John is a super cool guy. You have John's dad behind the counter. You're busy today, huh? A uh, little bit. Oh, what do we got? Chicken wings are literally just flying out. Fried chicken wings, chicken wings with barbecue sauce, and yakimi, this incredible chicken noodle soup. What's the best thing to get? The wings and yakimi? Wings and yakimi. Yeah. yeah. How long have you been going to the store? For years. Yeah. There's dishes and the nuances in that place that can only be from the Vietnamese and the African-American community working together. And you see it, and you feel it, and you taste it in the food. How long has the store been open? Oh, to uh, 26 years. So it's older than you. Oh, it's it's, it's older. definitely older than yeah. me. We just originally opened up to serve the community around here. And uh, honestly, uh, my parents, when they created the recipe for the chicken, like they really didn't think it was going to become intense like this. And it's popular. And it's popular. It's packed. To this day, we can't believe it's popular. You know, The neighborhood really looks out for this, this, this place. We're in an area where a lot of these people have had their grandparents come here, or like their parents, and there were kids growing up coming here and they still come back. I have people who come here every single day of the week. All right. You get some chicken. Chicken, definitely, oh. and, and uh, the wings, right? Yes, sir. Oh, like, you can tell he's a loco. He dive right in at the window. He's right at the window. I'm not waiting. The way to go. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, I know. It's dying. This is a Shiny. good lunch table. It's a New Orleans lunch table. Come on in, man. Oh, this looks oh, yeah. good. Yeah, man. Let's get a plate. Mm. I can taste that it's a little bit. Coming up as a kid, like you guys coming up. Yes, sir. You worked a lot in the store, I assume? <sighs> My father, uh, actually, uh, he was born and raised over in uh, Vietnam, yeah. and he didn't have too much time for school. So, uh, you know, yeah. started from a really young age. And starting over here, too, you know, with his own kids, uh, my siblings and I, he got us into the, the flow early on. Yeah. First generation yeah. just hustled and hustled and hustled so that their kids can pursue, you know, financially secure yeah. dreams. I'm sure leaving one place post-war and also for religious freedom, you know, you trade that coming to America and then it can be racial tension or poverty. It's just so many different hurdles that you got to overcome. Because we have only been here for, what, four decades? Yeah. Uh, Vietnamese people, that is. These minority communities try their best to not make waves because we're trying to just thrive. So just head down, keep working, sticking right. together. You don't scream out loud when you're paying your bills, you know? You're yeah. paying your bills in silence. And you, you, you send your kids to school in silence. Wow. You know, and when they graduate, you know, you hope that you can make it there and you're not stuck at work because that's what your business demands of you. But any community who's come here from a harder place, this is paradise, yeah. you know? To have the opportunity to not only open a business, but own something. Mm. And in the due process, you're contributing back to the very country that took you in. What's Vietnamese about Manchu? It's just the flavor profile. Growing up Vietnamese, and especially in this city, uh, I don't think I've ever been a privy to a bland food before. Mm -hmm. You know, so uh, everything that you try here, it's just sort of a kick to the taste bud. What do you think it's about <laughs> the city? Because it doesn't really matter whether it's Vietnamese food or the food of New Orleans. It's always flavorful. It's always delicious. It's always pushing for bringing in different types of culture. Like, what do, what do you think? It's, it's in, is it in the waters? What do you think it, it is? It is in the water. We drink a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a city where we, we really just revel in the, the, the little joys, yeah. you know, because there's just so many communities here that are very low income. The, the luxuries that you do have are just very tiny and, yeah. and short. I think the story of the Vietnamese community in New Orleans is a story of two tales. Yeah, make it even more beautiful. One, the Vietnamese community staying strong, sticking together to carve out this place that is theirs. The other tale is also how open-minded the city of New Orleans were to a new taste, a new culture. And historically, the city has always done that, whether it was through the French, Spanish, or the Africans. It's richer culturally for it, and it proves why it's such an iconic American city.